Good morning guys from beautiful Shrewsbury. I'm just on my way to the railway station where today I'm going to be taking a train from Shrewsbury over to Aberystwyth. I just felt like uh, a bit of sun at the seaside um, to be honest so hopefully that will indeed happen. Now before we get started on the journey guys I wanted to tell you about TrainPal the money saving rail and bus ticketing platform. Now I travel a lot by train and I'm always looking to get the best value possible without having to pay booking fees of course. Now this is where TrainPal really is your friend. You just download the app onto your smartphone using the link here and in the description below. Punch in your travel details and let TrainPal do the rest. The TrainPal will search for all available options including split ticketing and display the best discounted fees for your journey. A TrainPal accepts all well-known methods of payment and you can download your tickets electronically to scan at the ticket gate line and or show to the onboard ticket inspector. You can even link your Oyster card to get a discount on the underground during non-peak hours. Now TrainPal are giving you guys the chance to save a massive 34% on the price of a rail card if you use my exclusive promo code to order it through the app. This means a £30 one year rail card is just £19.80 after the discount and a £70 three year rail card just £46.20. All you need to do is click on the vouchers page, enter the promo code LETS34 and click on redeem. After filling in the relevant details for your chosen mail card, complete payment for the discounted price and you're done. The mail card is delivered instantly and you can start saving straight away. It really is that simple. So what are you waiting for? Just download the app, start saving money and maybe I'll see you on the train one day. Right, let's get to the station. I'll be using the train pal app to scan my ticket at the barrier. And we'll head up to the platform where our train will be arriving to take me over to Aberystwyth. See you in a bit. Right then guys, so I made my way over to Shrewsbury Railway Station. A train pal app at the ready and I headed for the barriers. Now, as you can see here, it's really easy to use. You just bring up the electronic ticket with the QR code. You now place it face down on the glass and a second or two later, you'll get a victory beep and the barriers will open. Simple as that. Now I made my way up the stairs and headed for platform 5. I was a little bit early and for a minute I thought we would be getting this class 153, uh, which would certainly be unusual. Uh, but before long, the expected class 158 arrived, 158828, a two car diesel multiple unit which would be taking us all the way over to Aberystwyth. I made my way on board and through the double doors leading to the seats. And note the member of staff here cleaning the train, which is good to see. When I chose a table seat near the front of the train, and first impressions, bright and tidy, a good start. Right guys, on the 10.29 from Shrewsbury to Aberystwyth, or class 158. Pretty nice actually, it's clean and it's quiet as well. The weather's not too bad, um, cloudy with blue skies I would say. I'm expecting a nice little run now over to Abba, and uh, yeah, let's hope that there's a bit of blue sky on the coast. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, well, looking at the skies now, I would forecast the weather as anything could happen, <laughs> to be honest. We left the bay platform on time, heading out to the west of the famous signal box at the south of the station. I'm not going to show you it this time, as it features on many other videos, but instead, just focus on the houses behind the trees here, which, up until 2007, was the site of Shrewsbury Town Football Club's iconic Gay Meadow Ground. Now sadly they moved on to a nondescript identikit stadium on the outskirts of town uh, but yeah it's a, it's a money and survival thing isn't it for most clubs these days so yeah, I guess it needs must and all that. Anyway after passing 97302 at Network Rail's Colum Depot on our right we arrive at Sutton Bridge Junction where we leave the Welsh Marches line and head out onto the single track Cambria line proper. Before long we had an onboard ticket inspection and yep you've guessed it I was able to use my TrainPal e-ticket once again to validate my journey. Okay to use the TrainPal app. Tickets. That's fine. Yeah yeah. Yeah that's good yeah. Cheers, thank, you, thank you very much. Alright buddy. Cheers mate. Okay so yeah we left on time just heading across to Welshpool now um, over the border from England into, into Wales. A uh, question I've got uh, is there going to be a catering trolley on this train? I don't know. 
um, I guess we'll find out in, in a little while. Uh, but yeah, enjoy some of the views and um, see you in a bit. Welsh Pole Railway Station, a shadow of its former self, sadly, and the introduction of the Welsh Pole Bypass Road in 1993 meant that the whole line had to be shifted south. And so as we leave the somewhat isolated platforms here, you will see the original station building across the road, which ironically is now closer to the old platforms than the line is. Um, well, yeah, at least they kept the building, I suppose, so it could have been worse. So still pretty quiet on board, the 2-2 configuration is made up of airline style and table seating. The seats themselves are pretty comfortable I think, with good padded headrests and a retractable armrest between the seats and on both sides. Now the seat back is firm and the lower seat area more padded, uh, comfortable enough for a journey time of approximately 2 hours today and probably longer journeys than that I would say. Now the table between the seats is wide enough for four people and to the side you have double USB and conventional power sockets. There are plenty of legroom under the table as well. I did try the airline style seats where I think legroom is more restricted. It was still okay for me but yeah, given the choice I would probably choose the table seating every time. You've got drop down seat back tables at these seats with extendable laptop holder type of things which are fine uh, but yeah again get a table seat if you can I would say. Uh, near the vestibules at either end you have luggage storage and there is ample rack storage above the seats on both sides of the carriage. And finally at the far end uh, there is space for at least two wheelchair users. Just arrived in Newtown and here comes the rain unfortunately. Um, we are now at Newtown. This train is for Aberystwyth. But I think it could change uh, so it depends really what, um, what we're hoping to get and what we get um, yeah occasional showers um, but hopefully not all the time we'll see how it develops I guess Rainy Mahuntleth opened in 1863 and this is where the previous operator of the line, Arriva Trains Wales, developed the station into the main depot for trains providing services not just to Aberystwyth but also Patheli to the north. Now, since 2011 a new signalling system has been in place for the Cambria line which is itself controlled from Huntleth. I won't even begin to attempt an explanation here on how it works but yeah, I'm sure some of you may want to provide some expert information in the comments below and that would be most appreciated. It is a nice station though and I'm pretty sure that when a four car set is used the front two will go off to Abba and the rear two to Pathali or vice versa. Um, not today though, we're heading for the remote Dovey Junction. 
Before we get there though, there's just enough time to check out one of the toilets on this train, the closest one to me. And uh, yeah, here we have a large mirror beneath which is the sink and the water, liquid soap and air dryer facilities. Uh, there is also baby changing facilities available, uh, nice and clean, but sadly the hunt continues. Uh, plenty of toilet tissue available, everything was clean and yeah, it worked, uh, can't ask for more than that really. Absolutely fine and to be honest, uh, one of the best that I've seen. Right, so along the W estuary and this area is home to the W Wildlife Centre which amongst other things aims to help the recovery of the Welsh Osprey population. Now, I'm not sure how many they have though, I don't think I saw any today. There are plenty of red kites flying around though. We approached Dubby Junction and were held outside the station for around five minutes as we awaited first the train from Patheli and then the train from Aberystwyth. Now, I was trying to figure all this out, uh, but I presume that anybody travelling from Patheli or the north um, down to Aber or back to Shrewsbury and beyond to Birmingham, for example, they got off here and yeah, then they either got on the train from Aber that was going to Mahonmouth, uh, the one that we're just passing here. Or they get onto our train going to Abba that pulled into the same platform a little bit further down, if you follow what I mean. Uh, I guess it's not that complicated, really. Uh, but yeah, it did actually get um, quite busy after this point onwards. I tried out the Wi Fi, which was a bit patchy to begin with, but then it settled down and was pretty good after that. Uh, loading up social media quite quickly and also uh, just a small point but when you connect it gives you live train information so uh, you know exactly where you are and whether you're on time or not okay so just past Dubby Junction getting pretty close to the sea now nice shots of the estuary there behind me and the weather's brightening up again uh, no sign of the catering trolley unfortunately but that's fine because we'll be in Naba before long so I'll get some lunch there. Yeah, overall, um, an enjoyable trip so far. So uh, I'll speak to you again when we get to the Tuminus uh, Sabbath. Well. Yeah, the weather was pretty good now. Now between here and Aberystwyth, we would call it Borth, and then the recently opened Bow Street, which is effectively a park and ride station. The price I paid for today's trip was £23.56, um, because I wasn't really sure when I was going to be going or coming back. I got an adult anytime day return. So you can get it cheaper if you book in advance and specify exactly which train you're going to be travelling on. And what do you think of Borth? Uh, I've got to be honest, uh, like the baby on this train, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, but if you've ever been, uh, I'd love to hear your views and memories, good or bad, in the comments below. And coming into the terminus at Aberystwyth, I guess it's less glamorous than it once was. A lot of the old railway buildings have been repurposed, and there's like a retail park thing to your left. But the 80 mile journey itself was, yeah, quite scenic in parts, and as I disembarked the train against the flow of traffic, I walked up the platform for a bit and, yeah, just took a minute to sum up the trip. Right guys, I was a bit late getting off the train then, uh, everybody started getting on. Yeah, Aberystwyth, I, I tell you what, that journey, I could not fault it. The train was really clean and in really good condition inside. The views were fantastic, the weather wasn't bad either. A little bit of rain, but overall, uh, yeah, a great little trip. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wander into Aberystwyth Town Centre in a bit. I'll have a look around there. And uh, I've got a couple of ideas actually for, for another video I might want to take. In the meantime guys, don't forget, download the Train Pal app. You can use my code LET'S34 to get 34% off any UK rail card you want. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on another adventure soon. And as always guys, cheers for now.